Put your gun down. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? I'll tell you. Boston 745s here. Uh, quite a nice pair of speakers. I actually do already own uh, this particular pair of speakers, but uh, sadly, um, I've had them for like 20 years, and uh, yeah, they're they're dying. Uh, so I saw a new old stock on eBay. You know, I can't help myself with new old stock components. Uh, had to snatch these up. I think it was like 80 bucks with shipping, so not not too bad. Uh, it does say dark gray on it, but uh, these look pretty darn uh, black to me. And, uh, you know, normally with vintage retro stuff, you kind of expect them to be beige or, you know, kind of an off-white color. But, uh, yeah, I like the fact that these do come in black. You can get them in white as well, uh, these 745s. But, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I really like the, the black version. You know, uh, there are some older black computers, you know, like the old IBM Aptiva version so certain old systems these uh these look pretty cool all right guys new computer speakers well there you have it they are new in fact i think uh if i remember correctly i said this was new open box but hadn't been used before so well, i'm hoping that uh is actually the case and these have not been used before. I just have something about new old stock and new in box that uh, no one's actually used this, you know, in 20, 30 years. Something really satisfying. So I have all the literature there. Everything seems to be wrapped up and in good shape. Still in plastic. Yeah, this really doesn't look like this has been opened before, which of course is really nice. Got a thing for that kind of thing. Unopened old stuff. There's just something about it. I love it. So this system with the BA745, you get two of these satellite speakers. It's a three-piece system and a nice little subwoofer. Uh, it's not the most powerful subwoofer, and these aren't the most powerful speakers um that uh they can get or even uh, among uh, vintage speakers but i don't know i really like the way that these look and i like the way that they have these little stands that they sit on um or angled upwards at i don't know was that 30 degree 40 degree angle uh, quite nice it's got you know the uh it's got the volume knob um, and uh the subwoofer knob right on the front there and one of the best things about this um, actually is that the when you turn it on it makes it, and off it makes a very satisfying click so hopefully it'll pick up on this oh, it's so satisfying I just love the click on this it's the other speaker it's just pretty much like that one but without the knobs on it All right that's the power brick and the bigger you know the bigger the power brick Generally, the better the speakers are. It's not always the case, but... Uh, and sometimes they are actually in the subwoofer instead. This one comes separate. Got some little pads for the feet. And I suspect this is the subwoofer. Yep, buried down in here. Slippery thing. I'm gonna say this has been taken apart and repackaged, but I don't think it's been used. Everything's pretty darn uh, new looking and uh, still wrapped in plastic and everything, so it looks pretty untouched. Not not the uh, most impressive subwoofer, but actually one of the if you're familiar with the uh, with these older kind of vintage Boston speakers, um, this whole family really of speakers, you know that they are actually pretty darn impressive uh, for their size and the BA 745 is no exception to that uh, uh, I will show you in a comparison here with some other uh, Boston speakers that I have some of which are larger some of which are smaller uh, but uh, these sound really really quite good and the subwoofer is very decent um, it matches uh, the speakers quite well and it's high quality too you know it's actually I think it's kind of hard to find 
this level of quality at uh, you know the sub $100 price point in computer speakers today. Okay, so here we've got the BA745 Black Edition speaker again, and uh, yeah, it's got the volume and uh, subwoofer knobs there, which are really convenient. It's good having those on the speaker. It's got these nice, cute little feet. I really like these mounts. Uh, and then actually, another thing that I really like about this particular model is that the microphone and the headphone jacks are on the speaker, right? So, you know, you don't have to go reaching under your desk or, you know, over to your desktop to uh, plug that in. So that's kind of nice. And here we have the close cousin to the BA-745. This is actually the BA-635, uh, but the BA-745, this guy here actually does come in this beige off-white as well. So it's actually kind of hard to tell which one, which one you've got. You kind of have to look at uh, the plug in the back and, and what that looks like. Uh, but this one is uh, a little different, actually. It has a volume knob, of course, but instead of a subwoofer knob, it's actually got a, it's got a treble knob instead, which is interesting. It's not the subwoofer knob that the BA745 has. But um, otherwise, the, the speaker is pretty much the same as far as I can tell with the uh, BA-745. And then there's this little guy, the BA-635, uh, with just this huge tangle of cords. I'll actually show you here. It's kind of, you're looking at the, uh, the tip of the iceberg. It's all tangled around the tripod. Uh, it just keeps coming and coming, coming. Yeah, this is all probably blurry but uh, this is all part of this tiny little speaker and there's the actual speaker <laughs> oh man uh, but uh, you know the the BA 635 is actually a pretty darn good good speaker um, I love these little speakers if you know you don't have a ton of room on your desktop uh, these are really great um, they, they sound, I think they actually sound just as good as the 745 models, um, the 635s. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really have much in terms of the knobs on the front. It just has a volume knob and um, does not have the headphone or, uh, or uh, <coughs> mic uh, jack on the side. And neither does the, if I point this out, neither does the... Um, uh, you know, BA uh, 735 version. Only the only the uh, BA 745 here has that feature. The Boston uh, Media Theater speakers. I have to keep moving this stuff over because I mean these things these things are huge. Um, so I made another video about this uh, specifically the speaker set, and I will post a link you know, down below uh, to that uh, that review. Um, really pretty good speakers. I really like the fact that they have the volume, surround, subwoofer, um, knobs on the front. Um, it does have a headphone jack, no mic jack. So that's something I guess you only find on the 745s, in fact, um, and not on the media theater. Uh, in terms of sound quality, uh, here's the thing. I actually think that these guys beat the media theater in overall sound quality, which I know you're going to be skeptical because this thing is huge, and I'll show you the subwoofer here in a second. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, I'll compare it to the other subwoofers. But yeah, I just think the sound quality is better among these, and actually there's not a much reason to use this one if you have these, you know, and, and actually the sound quality of the little one is just fine, um, and, and it can save you a lot of desk space. Um, so I really love the functionality and the extra options on the actual speaker on the BA-745, but if I don't have much room, I go with the 635 instead. Okay, here is the subwoofer for the uh, BA-735, which um, is actually digital. Uh, you'll notice that it says digital BA-735 on here. 
Uh, this is kind of important actually because you will need a digital out on your sound card and not all of them have it. So um, it also takes some, some changing of settings usually on your computer to get them to work uh, digitally. So I mean most speakers are still analog. Uh, so that's kind of peculiar. It took me a while to get these to actually work on a system. Uh, when I was working with this, so just be aware. Now you can get if you you know like the size of a speaker and are interested in getting Boston in the mid range here. Um, I would actually consider you know looking at the BA uh, 745 cream colored or the black one that that I just got. So um, there is a cream colored uh, BA 745 that's not digital. So these 735s are are digital. Um, this is what it looks like in the back, by the way. Um, so you got the digital in back here and the control out. And this guy's got the, the control out here on it. So, yeah, I mean, from the front, it looks pretty much just like you know, the BA 745. I mean, they're pretty much exactly the same uh, subwoofer, different color. Um, but otherwise the same doesn't this doesn't have digital on it because it's not digital it's analog now those of you who did not see my uh, video on the Boston uh, media theater speakers uh, here's the gigantic uh, subwoofer that comes with those uh, big speakers here it is so yeah, these kind of gives you the, the size comparison here between the media theater and the regular old BA uh, 635, 745s. Um, yeah, you get better bass out of this guy, but again, it's not really that impressive. Um, I was kind of, I wouldn't say underwhelmed, I was whelmed maybe uh, with these speakers. They're pretty good. Um, and if you can pick these up for cheap, uh, certainly, you know, go for it, but but I wouldn't spend actually any extra on the media theater um, over uh, just a 635 or 745 model. Um, you know, probably would save you some money and uh, doesn't take up as much room underneath your desk or on your desk because um, these things are huge. All right, so up next, let's uh, I'll plug them into the computer, uh, the 745s, and give a little bit of a sound demonstration. All right, guys, I think it's time to play some music for you. Um, now, this is copyright-free, royalty-free music from YouTube, so, you know, I'm sorry. But hopefully I won't get in trouble for playing this music. Uh, that's kind of the point. So it's not the best music, but hopefully it'll give you some idea what these uh, speakers sound like. And, uh, yes, my cat's in the background. He's uh, quite excited about this um, because uh, this is the first time, actually, uh, powering up these speakers. So they are brand new, fresh, probably 20 years old, and ready to play some music. Son, we're grabbing burgers for dinner if you're interested. Uh, I'm vegan, Walter. You told me honestly that you would into me. Guess you're not, 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 not. I didn't realize your words are full of lies, not what I thought, 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 thought. In the morning, Shut, shut, shut. 
guys well that is the ba boston acoustic uh 745 model uh, i think the sound is is very good actually uh for this uh price point so if you can find them for i don't know somewhere between 50 and 100 dollars you know, especially new on ebay uh i would i would snatch them up but i don't think you're gonna find them on there too often at least not old stock uh, and uh, I do actually think that these are quite competitive with uh, the other models, even the media theaters. Um, and actually, uh, these might actually win out in, in some ways. And I like the fact that they're, of course, a bit more compact uh, than those speakers. So if you've had experience with these Boston speakers, a really good vintage speakers, uh, you know, leave me a comment down there. Let me know um, how, what your experience was like. Uh, these are some of the finest vintage speakers i think you can find out there and uh you know if you're putting together a vintage system uh definitely consider these speakers thank you very much for watching guys and uh take care i'll see you in the next one